When I first started using Chromebooks after years of working on macOS, there was one part of my workflow that I felt like was missing, and that was the ability to log into multiple Chrome browsers with different Google accounts. For me, this allowed me to keep things like my bookmarks, save passwords, payment methods, all separate for my personal and work accounts. But over the years, I have found a workaround that allows me to quickly and easily switch between signed in users on my Chromebook that I'd like to share with you. So let's check it out. All right, so let's get started over here on the MacBook so I can show you a little bit of what this looks like and how I was using it. So if we hop over here to Chrome, you can see in the top right, I have this kind of uh, toggle here so I can select back and forth between different people. You can add them here. But if I click here, you'll see it pops over to my personal. Up top, I have all of my personal bookmarks. I have all of my personal extensions. If I were to say, want to book a flight, I can hop over here to Southwest. All of my information is gonna be here. All of my safe passwords, all of that. And if I hop back over, you can see it opens them up in two separate windows. I can hop back over here to my work account where I can have my work bookmarks. I can have my work extensions. If I had a safe password, for example, I can use that here. Or if I have some payment methods that I wanna keep separate, I can use those here as well. And you can see how this basically allowed me to have my personal Google account and my work Google account separate and distinct on this MacBook so that if I needed to hop in and do something over here in my personal account, you can quickly and easily jump over here and everything is separate. I, I don't have to worry about uh, sharing different you know, payment methods or having one huge bookmark bar up top. These can be separate and distinct so that I can keep those two more organized basically. Okay, so that's how it was working on macOS. I had two separate browser windows open with two separate Google accounts logged in to each of them. So now let's hop over to the Pixelbook Go here so I can show you my workaround and that keyboard shortcut to quickly switch between signed in users. Okay, so over here on the Chromebook, one quick point of clarification before we get in to everything else. And that is if you click over here into your system tray and then click your settings, you'll notice over here you have people. And in here, you can actually log into multiple Google accounts. What this allows you to do is if you're logging in with Google on a website, you can choose between those multiple accounts. Or if you're in Gmail, you can actually have multiple inboxes open, but you're still gonna be limited to your main bookmark bar and your extensions for the primary user that is logged in. But if you want a more siloed experience like I had on the MacBook with separate bookmarks and separate payment methods, here's what you need to do. Go down to the bottom right and click on your system tray and then click on your avatar and then click sign in another user. This is gonna take you back to basically the login page. So I'm gonna go ahead and get signed in here. And once that loads in, you can see here, I am in my personal account. I have my personal bookmarks up top. If I wanted to log into a website, I'll get all of my personal safe passwords. And now, if I want to go back over to my work account, hold down Control, Alt, and one of these angled brackets here. So I'm just gonna press the right one. Boom, takes me right over to my work account. Now if I wanna go back, Control, Alt, and the angled bracket again. And that's gonna pop you back and forth between the signed in users that you have on your Chromebook. Now keep in mind that these two accounts are separate and distinct on the Chromebook. So you're not gonna have any sort of shared downloads or file system, but what you could do is create a downloads folder in both accounts and then share it between them and then go to your browser settings in the top here, search downloads, come down here to the location and change the location to that shared downloads folder. That way, if you download something on one account, it'll automatically show up in the other account. But if you're not gonna be sharing files back and forth between the two accounts a lot, you can just skip that step. And if all you wanna do is switch between two signed in users, just go down there to your system tray, sign in another user, and then use that keyboard shortcut to quickly switch back and forth between the two. But that's it for this one. If you all like this video, make sure to go down there and hit that thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you'd like to be alerted when we put out more videos just like this one. I appreciate you all watching. See ya.